Oh, how it's raining. Oh, how the water falls. <laughs> hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the construction series. Today, we're going to finish up this pool and start another contract we have lined up. It might be a long one. Don't know for sure. But we will, uh, we're going to get right to work at it today. We're going to go ahead and get the dump truck out of the way. I parked up some things just so they were away from their house and, and they weren't in the way. Let me, uh, let me fire this up. I had a song stuck in my head. I've had that song stuck in my head for far too long. Oh, <laughs> we're Tokyo drifting already. Lovely. Okay, let's pull this right up here in their driveway like we tend to do. That'll do. Cut it down. Top in. Uh, let's move the roller out of the way. We don't need this quite yet. Although we will be rolling at some point. We just uh, don't need it at the moment. We're going to pull it right off the gravel there. And that should do just fine. Shut it down. Now, the Lieber can stay there, but we're going to need to hop into the Kubota. And just do a little bit more of getting rid of this, this kind of pile here and then we can smooth it out nice and easy once we've done that first things first we are going to start getting rid of this pile let's see here forward let's go ahead and start that to dump there we go and let's just spread out that gravel right along here that should be fine and it can be rolled out flattened out by the roller so I don't need to worry about that too terribly much. Just trying to spread out this gravel. We definitely got more of it than we really needed. That could prove to be a bit of a challenge. There's a little bit of a hump there I guess I could have got rid of. Let's see if I can cut down. We're almost, we're almost through this pile though. We have a lot more gravel spread out than, uh, <laughs> than we really intended or what we really needed. That's okay. We can, we can remove some of it if we deem that we don't want it here but for now i've got to pour it okay hold on let's stop pouring that right there and then let me line up here again and oh oh no please go forward there you go come on come on holy cow this gravel takes a while to pour doesn't it there we go it's nice and easy right on forward that's looking good so far. Jeez, one load of gravel from the dump truck, and we we probably could cover this whole this whole space here. This is a little ridiculous. Let's see if I can angle that down and just chop. Dang it! Ah, I was hoping we get a full bucket out of that. I mean, we got a full bucket. I was hoping we just take away the that last bit of a hump. That's all right. Just a little bit more, and we'll have it all done. Pull forward and go ahead and start dumping. There we go. That's a lot better. We've got too much gravel. We got so much gravel, I don't know what to do with it all. Let's just kind of relax our pour in there for a little bit. Let's go this way, I suppose. I'm going to get into the grass. Jeez. All right. Final bucket, hopefully. Just skim right along the top side. Ah, you've got to be. Well, that's probably close enough, right? Yeah, we can roll out the rest there. Where do I want to put this? Good, put some in this corner, but I think I've got enough over here. I think I'm going to actually go this way, trying to take out that bump while we're driving. Why not? I'm going to put a little bit in this corner over here. And then we'll go back over there and we'll fill that corner a little bit more. Back it up, 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 back it up. Come on now. All right, that's probably plenty of gravel right there. We'll take this last little bit we've got, and we will put it right here in this corner. Let me just kind of back up and just go ahead and dump that right here. There we go. Okay, I think we're done with the skid steer for now. What we can do now is get the roller, and we're going to roll out these bumps right like right there. We got those bumps. Those ones might not be able to be rolled out. We might have to pick those up with the skid steer and just trim them a little bit. But we're going to try and just roll them. So let's get in the roller. 
Let's fire it up. Let's turn on that hazard light. There we go. And now, in theory, we should be able to just go along and roll this pretty easily. Let's see how well this works. Looks like it's doing its job. I'll take it. Okay. So I'm, what we're going to do... I'm going to turn on my flashers as well. We're just going to kind of shimmy our way back and forth. So now I can face myself this way a little bit more. And we'll just go along like this. There we go. We'll just get this path rolled. There we go. Forward. This should work pretty fine for us, I think. Perfect. Okay. Shift it this way a little bit more again. And just let it go straight back. You guys get the picture. Pretty simple. We're going to go forward over it again. And I really don't think we're going to need to do much more rolling than this. Then we can get in here and we can build the actual deck system and, and put in the pool for the above ground pool that they're wanting. It shouldn't uh, be... It shouldn't take too much longer to do that. We do have another contract, another job that we need to get to, so I'm trying to hurry this one up so we can get this one done and get on this other job. This other job is going to be paying us a whole lot more money. It is a government contract job. It is contracted through the state. And, uh... You, well, you'll see what we're going to be doing here in a little bit. At least you'll see the start of it. It might take us a little while to do, but I think it's going to definitely pay off in the long run. It's going to be worth it. So we did go over the little place there where we had some more bumps. And I think we pretty well rolled it out. There are a couple bounds here and there, but for the most part, this is relatively flat. We just need to keep working this way. Now, we are going to probably have to go over these bumps a couple times. Because those ones were a little extreme. So I'm probably going to go over that again. So let's go forward once again. Uh, I think I missed a little bit on my inside. So I guess I should probably cover that. But we're going to continue the route that we're taking just to make sure we get it all for now. And we'll go back and we'll clean up whatever I think I missed previously. Let's go this way. There we go. We're going to hit this mound, and that is going to really spread out. Because we had, that's where we just put a little too much extra, didn't we? There we go. And I want to get this mound over here just a little bit more. So I'm going to kind of go right, right on along right here. I'm just going to turn it. It's usually what I don't recommend doing, but should be fine now let me pull up here there are a couple mounds i just want to take out right through here there we go shouldn't be turning tight on it like that it does kind of angle our uh a roller so it can it, it makes it to where it doesn't roll flat so i try not to do that too much we can make little divots and cuts into the route that we roll there we go i think that'll be good I think we got it all rolled now. I can just pull right over here. Shut this bad boy down. Perfect. Roller can sit there. That looks pretty darn good. Of course, not perfectly flat. We do have a couple bumps here and there. But in the grand scheme of things, that'll work. It'll get the job done. So, I think the next step now is going to be bringing in the materials. I do probably need to pick up a... Someone said I should get a trailer for the for uh, for the dump truck, and I thought that was a good idea. But I also I also need a trailer to bring in the materials, and I don't know what trailer to put that stuff on. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's. We don't need the dump truck right now, so I'm gonna use this to get back over to uh, the the yard, and we are gonna see. Maybe I can use my equipment hauler low boy maybe i can just put the materials on the low boy not really what it's for but i think i could probably make it work don't really have the money to be buying anything else at the moment as always guys if you enjoyed the video then make sure you hit that like button if you want to see more construction videos can we get this video to 500 likes if we can get this video to 500 likes 
and we will uh the next job that we will do will be building a gravel road for the county if you guys want to see us do an entire gravel road for the county then hit that like button get us to 500 and that is what we will do next also if you found yourself watching more than one con more more than one video and click that subscribe button because it's a good time to enjoy the content you want to be notified when new ones are posted all right we're here oh <laughs> i kind of love this truck sometimes because look at this thing Woo! <laughs> it's like you're always driving on ice it's great i'm gonna put the dumb truck away for now i don't think that we need it at the moment so it's gonna just pull you know i don't even need to pull it all the way back we have so much room in this shop We'll leave it right there. We're going to get into the International Work Star with the low boy. We are going to, uh, we're going to go and get loaded up with the lumber here. I don't have any at our facility. I do have all this space open in the front and stuff. And, uh, we have a lot of open space because eventually I want to store more materials and more equipment and put up some extra buildings. Just don't have the funds to do it right now. But I built this place with the idea of expanding it in the future. So that's why the fence line has been built a little far back from the building. Uh, but for, Oh, we hit the bottom. Lovely. But for now, we are going to have to go and just pick up the material from a local uh, lumber yard. So we can get the wood and stuff. We do uh, already have the paint and the sealer and everything that we need at, uh, at location in the Ford F-350. So we don't need to pick up any of that. We just need the materials. So we're going to run on over to the lumber yard, pick up some, some, uh, some lumber, of course, and we'll get to work. Maybe I can steal these guys' lumber. Hey, look at that. Y'all need that? Yeah, they probably need it. All right. We're showing up at the lumber yard here. Going to turn on our blinker, slow down a little bit. I think if I take this turn right here... It should lead us in to the driveway of the lumber yard, as well as, uh, is this the whole thing, lumber yard, or? I think I gotta, I think I have to go to the left here, but I'm gonna assume the farthest one down this way. I don't know. I don't know, there's all kinds of stuff over here. I'm not exactly sure where I'm supposed to go, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's this way over here. There we go. Gate opens up. Let's, uh, before we go any farther, let's ask this gentleman in the, see if he's in the main office here and say, ask where we're supposed to go. I'm guessing over there near all the piles, but you never know. All right. He said we are not going over there. Right back here, I guess, near these guys is where we're supposed to go. Oh, there it is. Okay, I see. We got our lumber pilots already lined up here, our wooden planks. Let's just pull off right up along here, and I assume they're going to use the loaders there to get us loaded up. So, where do I want to pull? I think uh, I'll make sure I give them room to squeeze in between there so they can just turn, you know, turn their body back and forth. But just use it to load me up. So I'm going to just kind of shift this way just a little bit to make sure they have a little bit of room. But I still want to stay within the realm of where they can reach. That should be good right there. Let's go ahead and turn on the flashers. We'll wait for the uh, for the yard hand to come out here and get us loaded up. All right, he got us all loaded up. Didn't take too long. We're going to go ahead and pull forward. Our load is already red, good to go. Strapped down in the back. Frank the cat approves of the load. Said the straps are all good. DOT is not going to get mad at us today. Let's get on out of here. Turn off the four ways. Sneak on around the building and get back up to the job site. Do I have a blinker on? There we go. Finally. I was like, hold on. What's the deal with that? Okay. Turn on. The, well, we're pulling out of an establishment here onto their driveway. We don't necessarily need their our blinker. Turn that nice and wide. There we go. And let's get up to the job site and get this unloaded. All right, nice and easy, nice and easy. Don't hit the sign, don't hit the sign, don't hit the sign, probably hit the sign. Ooh, I don't think we hit the sign. All right, I think I should 
be able to just take this turn right here. Easy. You know my history in hitting signs. We didn't hit it, Frank. Everything's fine. And then we should be able to just go right down the back side. Oh, I got a stop sign here and always stop. That's dumb. Only they should have to stop. I don't know who designed that one. And I think the next turn up here, I can see our job site. There it is. That's a nice little, that's a neat little place. Oh, uh, I thought we missed our turn for a second. Okay. Someone's driveway. Let's not turn into that. This is what we're looking for. Turn on the blinker. Nice and wide. Don't hit the sign. Ooh, oh, geez. One of these days, we're going to take out the signs. And... Um... Well... Well... Um... I'm going to just pull right off up over here. So we're out of people's way. Go ahead and let that straighten out. And then we'll just back it right up. And right there should do. And on the four ways, we'll hop into the lever and we'll get this thing unloaded. All right, there we go. Take the last couple straps off and we've got the pallets all unloaded off the trailer there. I'm surprised we were able to fit that many onto the trailer, to be honest with you. But they worked their magic and they somehow did it. I don't know. I don't know. They were, they were impressive when they figured that one out or something. But we can go ahead and put the lever back away. Let's just pull this right back down here, kind of out of the way. I think um, we're just going to kind of slot it over here in this guy's yard again. Sure, he loves us, right? Oh, easy. Easy. There we go. Shot it down. Let's hop up in the... No. Well, I mean... I don't really know where I'm supposed to move this thing. Huh. I guess I can... We can just at least get it off the roadway. And I could back it into that guy's driveway and make him hate me even more. I think we're just going to pull it right around over in there. This business shouldn't mind too much, I don't think. Let's just pull right on around here. Nice and wide. There we go. Cut it. And... Right around the turn. And watch that back end. There we go. Perfect. Just pull this right up over here. And I'll just kind of park this. Right. Right there should do. Go and shut it down. Turn off the flashers. We'll leave that sit there for now. Shouldn't be in anyone's way, hopefully. Hop the fence. And time to get back to work. We're going to build the pool now. So we have to put these in place, get them uh, dug in, whatnot, and then build the actual deck around. And then we're going to paint. And we're going to we're gonna seal. And then we're going to have the pool in the middle. And we're going to fill the pool up. So let's, uh, let's do it. Let's put down the pool. There we go. The pool is in place. Looking pretty good. So you, they just walk right up here, and then they've got their little pool area right there. Deck that goes around it. That's not... Not too bad. We did have a little bit of wood left over over there. That's fine. Because they, uh... They actually wanted us to take this extra space we were saving by building a tiny pool. And put a, uh... Put a building back here for them. So, they got the permit to do that. And luckily... We're going to be building uh, just a little wooden structure. Nothing crazy. And it uh, it's not going to be too difficult. It's, it's just it's purely a wooden structure. So we're going to build that as well. And then we'll do the little landscaping around here. And this pool will be finished. There we go. All done. We uh, came in. We laid some sod down. And we used the gravel as a drainage pick. Because this uh, the way this sits here, it is actually a little lower. And it does tend to pool up. Get us a lot of rain in this area so we did use gravel for the drainage and um we left gravel open as the foundation around here and we left a path going around as well for this stuff right here have a little uh campfire area so you walk up and they can have their something themselves a little fire they can set the chairs out around it very cool we also came in and we put in a couple new little trees that they requested us put in I thought about putting in one over here, but it was going to impede in on them, so 
we decided to just leave that open. But that is it. That is the new above ground pool for our client. Now I just got to uh, send him a bill, get our payment, and and we can start our next job. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Took a little while to do, but in the long run, I think they're going to be very happy with their nice little backyard they've got back here. So let's let the client know that we're done and let's get paid. All right, we just got paid for the job. $79,000 in the bank now. Looking pretty good. We can get all loaded up and ready to go on out of here. So let's go ahead and fire up the Ford. Put those ramps down. There we go. I'm gonna hop up into the Kubota now. Oop, that's the Lieber. I wanna get in the Kubota. No, nope, the Kubota. There we go. Let's lift up the Kubota. Back it up. I think I'm gonna back it onto the trailer. Unlike we did last time. Try not to tear up their new sod too much here. I'm in the old stuff at the moment. Come on. Can I back up the trailer? Is it going to let me? Let's see. It is not going to let me back this thing on the trailer. That is unfortunate. Oh well. I guess we'll pull it on the trailer then. It is what it is. Not much I can do about it. Pull it right up onto the trailer, and obviously that's too far forward. Right about there is probably good. Yep, that's good right there. Shut it down. Hop up in the truck as it does a wheelie. Get those ramps folded up. There we go. Straighten out this. Okay, back up, back up, back up. There we go. That'll do. We're ready to pull that thing out of here now. That's, uh, we're gonna have to load that up onto the trailer. Gonna have to load you up onto a trailer. Gonna have to load you up onto a trailer. Oh, we're gonna have a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff to haul out of here, but you get the idea. We're gonna load up, get out of here. That is it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. Thank you all for watching. 500 likes, and we will begin doing a uh, road building for the county. So let me know if you want to see that by getting the, this video up to 500 likes. And until next time, I'll see you all later.